know. I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense, too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Oh. Yep. Idiot. Yeah.
Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Put his weapons over there! Dutch preach true. Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, and hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. 
suffer. I missed you. <laughs> What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Prisoners out! Don't let them get to those weapons!
Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Dutch. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Also, a couple of morons threatened to lynch me. So, I ran away, came back, robbed them. <laughs> Good lad. How about you? A few bits and pieces. Nothing that exciting. Not yet, at least. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly.
Morning, Arthur. Come on. You okay, boy? As long as you're not running away from anyone, you'll get the job done.
No, I, I've lived here my whole life. Seen this place go through hell and back, and I wouldn't change a thing. Thank you. Yep.
are you doing this? Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Looking to light out quick, a racehorse is the way to go. That's a good workhorse. Stays healthy. Don't have to fuss after it too much. We got really fair prices on horses. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Always good to have one of those. I got one of them myself. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Nice to give a little special grooming. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a beaut. problem here hello there pleased to see you
Enjoy your destination. You're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs>
door. I'll get the front. You take the back. Some of these bastards gonna walk out of here. Shit. Real heavy over here, fellas. Ah! around here is you you want us to come out we'll come out yes. oh, Bill. guns on the ground now both of you don't do it you know we can't do that you put the gun down chef I'll blow his brains out you want to join your little friend there do you either way you're a dead man Morgan How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before, 
They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Well, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Find the boy. Calm down. Everybody just relax. We are doing all we can. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Uh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dick. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. The 
but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got jacked. Look out! I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged, or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this,
Jack? Oh, shit! You know you're gonna die! Get out there! We got this door covered! Come on! Grab the rifle! 